How, oh, how does God's kingdom grow? By the sharing of a faithful few, not to mention some gospel tracks too, and new church plants sprouting all in a row. For some of us, planting churches still seems to be a foreign concept. Why is it necessary? What can I do? Think about this. What if we all got comfortable on our own church's pew? What will that mean for the folks over there? The ones who are different. The ones who don't look like you or live like you do. Do you really think such newcomers will step out of their comfort zone right into your church's tradition and stay for any length of time? It's proven not to be likely, which means we've got to get up and go where they are. And here's where they are, in apartments, homes, park pavilions, public recreation areas, teen parking lots, mobile home areas, coffee houses and break rooms, and other isolated pockets. Have you heard the term Ponta Tiethne yet? It's Greek, and it's a part of what Jesus said in Matthew 28, 19. Go therefore and make disciples of all the nations. Ponta tai ethne, all the nations. That is, all the people groups. In San Antonio alone, more than four dozen people groups have been identified. There are cowboy, rock, hip hop church. <laughs> Romanian, Brazilian, and Messianic congregations, and those who meet under a tree. They've all sprouted up and are growing stronger. And they're growing stronger because of what the San Antonio Baptist Association does to support them, such as targeting new locations to reach the lost, training church planting leaders, helping newly planted churches network with established churches for mentoring and resources. Your investment in the association's effort to plant new churches especially brings us back to Jesus' words in Matthew 16, 18. On this rock, I will build my church. You see, you and others from all walks of life as disciples of Christ, gathering in an organized fashion with other believers, is the picture of today's church as an extension of the church of Jesus Christ. It's through the spiritual nourishment and friendship with members of a church family that those new to Christ will take root and blossom. Using your own background and experience, or simply your compassion for the lost, you can help plant seeds of the gospel right in the midst of another culture, another ethnic group. That's where the ground is fertile for planting new churches, for making new disciples, and advancing the kingdom of God. We can make disciples of all nations, that is, all people groups, if we all take the money God has blessed us with and give a portion of it to help plant these new churches. Yes, overseas, but even more so, right here in our own backyard.